I don't know if I like the look of this. We have a unknown contact that popped up actually initially as a task force. And they're moving somewhat briskly. Uh, let's change our course here. It is genuinely a task force that's possibly of interest, but so far it's just one ship. Well, oh, there's two, and that makes it a task force. <laughs> now, again, the game will say task force for merchant convoys, I guess, so that's something to bear in mind. And it is going to be dark out here in a moment, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to dive, actually. And that says it's a warship. Okay. Probably two destroyers. Let's see if we can see them yet. Might be slightly light out. Yeah, just barely. You can't see anything, though. Okay, well, there's actually smoke there. And some kind of ship. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep scooting on over. We'll run silent. Oh dear. We're going a little bit too fast, actually. See what we can see. It looked like destroyers, probably, but I don't need to follow it. I just need to. I guess I just need to know that it's there. Well, that's peculiar. We had two signals. That's actually another one there. This is another escort of some kind. Uh, I'd like to see the other ship there though at about 315. So let's just see what it is. It's probably nothing important but... And we're lucky because they're not turning towards us. Uh, I have us going very very slowly. We're probably not putting out that much sound. So that's the lead destroyer. Assuming, yep. That's an even tinier ship that is a trawler, so. <laughs> False alarm, I guess, but that's contact. It's been several days since our last attack, so. And I've been up and down this line here, so I'm kind of glad that I'm actually seeing something. It's not something that I really want to see, but it's a thing. We've seen planes, which are boring and dumb. Yeah, looks like they're just gonna sail on. Alright, well, that's fine. Could have been something that I wanted to sink, but it isn't. We're gonna actually kind of loiter around here, maybe. Just draw some lines like this. Some reverse Z's. And, uh, see if we can track something down. This could be a problem. I just surfaced us, and we got this guy bearing down pretty quickly he's really moving quick so now he's off the map and we are not anywhere close to being under yet oh, I take that back <laughs> I thought I just saw him. Oh no, that was my mouse, okay. Well, alright, never mind. <laughs> we are squared away. Good deal. Actually, I want to see. Well. Yep, he dropped bombs. Okay. Where, where, where'd he go? Plane! The plane! Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Is it a zero? I've been chased by a couple of zeros. Which are even more silent than me.
amazing. They put out zero sound, that's why they have the name. Interesting. Well, uh, yeah, let's not go that fast underwater. No contacts other than planes yet. Um, fuel is starting to become a concern here. We might have to top off back at Tulagi here. So this is going to be possibly a very long patrol, but I'm, I'm still bound and determined to at least shoot at a convoy. That would be great. So I want to use these torpedoes before I have to go back. I can hardly believe it. We have a contact on this uh, fine day of March the 15th, 1943. I truly do not even remember when we had uh, our last attack. But uh, I think it was in February. I've been just going along this line here, dilly-dallying around, just looking around, seeing if I can find some enemies. And uh, I came up empty-handed, and I decided, you know what, effing controller, don't get your nose bent all out of shape over it. Just relax. Just enjoy yourself and uh, get a nice book. Because that's what you should do when you're playing a video game, is read a book. Right? Right. I'm not bitter. In case you're wondering, I am... <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I should reveal this. I'm, I'm going to go ahead. I'm, re I'm reading a uh, A-plus certification book. <laughs> Which, so far, I mean, listen. I'm a guy who records himself playing video games. I have surfed the web. I have surfed the net, even. I have... I've logged into my... i logged into my fair share of BBSs over the years. You know, I know a few AOL keywords that'll really blow your mind. So, you know, it's all pretty much stuff that I'm pretty familiar with. But, that being said, I don't want to be conceited. And I really need to drop the lateral lisp. I, I just, uh, I feel like, you know, maybe th maybe that's, th that's a direction I want to take my uh, career, whatever that career is. I have no idea. I'm assuming, though, I could probably pass the test without even studying for it, but, you know. Anyways, what the fuck is going on? We're trying to shoot a boat with a submarine, and I'm rambling on about nonsense. This ship, whatever it is, is heading north-northwest at a slow rate of speed. And I think I'm just going to get in position here, and as a matter of fact... Well, let's see, is it light out? Mm. We have the waning rays of the sun dappling on the waves. I don't know. Should I try this on the surface? I might just. I might do it. Draw another line here. I'm, I'm finding that I'm uh, a little bit more dependent on the radar as opposed to the hydrophone. The reason I am is that hydrophone apparently does not hear as far as the radar that's that's because as you can see there we got a hydrophone line there although we are surfaced so that reduces our range it should anyways I don't even know how anything works anymore <laughs> but like I said I mean this patrol is kind of a wash. It's just a, it's been, it's been pretty poor, and uh, I'm not gonna get my nose all bent out of shape over it. I'm not gonna get all feisty. I'm not gonna start burning my bra over it or anything like that. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna come about. And uh, once we do that, we can even out the rudder, yes, sir. rudder zero. Yes, and sir. just have us kind of amble along here. Yes, sir. Speed, zero. Now here's the trick, the waves are pretty awful. So we might run into a situation wherein we can't really make this attack very well. That's something that uh, could complicate things a wee bit. Was, it, was that? That was probably, yeah, that was 
something on my ship. Good lord. And I am so far... Oh, there he is. Huh. That looks like a good sized ship to me. Can't really tell what it is yet, so I'm just gonna keep keep on moving here. Okay, so now we have him in sight. Let's go back to the TBT, or as I like to call it, the. There we go. Oh. Now, see, this is kind of what I was worried about. If I, I that's that's not acceptable. <laughs> we we can't do that. That won't work. That won't do at all. So let's just go ahead and dive. We will have a much more stable platform here. With uh, the sub underwater. And that bugs the shit out of me. You can't control your speed going back. That's just really unnecessary. It's uncalled for. Let's go to the scope. And to my credit, I did remember to use the stern tube. Oh, golly. Well, I'd rather have waves washing over the scope than not being able to keep my view steady on the enemy, so I'll take what I can get now. It's a little washed out. I wonder if I can go to the O-scope. The Night Periscope. How do I bring that up? Is it shift page up? Oh dear. <laughs> Insert and delete. That's what I thought. Okay. So, insert. I was doing home and end. Not correct. Just not correct. Must have gone right by it here. <laughs> it does occur to me that <laughs> this is the first time I've used the night periscope. And... <laughs> One of the most frequent complaints about this Let's Play is that people can't see things at night. The night periscope is meant to remedy that situation. <laughs> and how many episodes have I done of this without really using this? Oh, that is humorous. Okay, well, let's identify this thing. I think I've got a pretty good look at it. It looks like the... Oh, I don't remember. I, I always draw analogies to Silent Hunter 3 because I know all of those ships immediately it's a it's like a large passenger I think is what it would be called or something like that or a medium passenger or passenger cargo or something like that there's a small passenger cargo which this does not resemble but that's it actually this it's got a swept uh, stack there pretty large masts look at the masts on that guy the other thing about the uh, oscope or the night scope is that I don't think it zooms as much does it say that in this I'm just curious larger head allowing better light transmission well it doesn't directly mention that but I believe that is true I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's a fact We're getting closer, getting closer, getting closer, getting ever so close. And I'm gonna go back to the O scope, the disused night scope. Yeah, that is almost certainly it. Because I didn't see anything else in the manual. It's weird that it's and that it's towards the end of the manual. Yeah, it's by the camera targets. Well, anywho, let's lock on and lock that in. 
And first of all, I think we're going to use two torpedoes, remembering not to use tube 10. We're going to go with contact, especially because it is a little bit choppy out there. Let's range them out. And that forward mast is a little bit taller. Try this one more time. One thing that I find is that I, I get a little bit lost on where the horizon line of the upper, the one by my mouse, the upper image of the ship is. And you can just look for the wake and just let your eye go to the right a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of a dumb tip, I guess, but sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't see it. And then I'm like, okay, just look at the front of the ship and then look back and you're good. Okay. Just up that by a degree. Six knots. Just trying to see if I can stagger my shots a little better. There you go. Oh, it's delete. Or is it? Yeah, it's delete. <laughs> this thing always creeps over there. It's annoying. Okay. We did a good job. And he is somewhere. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so the big concern here is that the waves are pretty rough. Uh, that has a tendency to cause our torpedoes to explode right on cue. Do it? Oh, well, it is breaching. As you can see, that's really bad for these torpedoes. <laughs> they don't like that. They tend to explode when that happens. So I'm going to speed things up, but do not be surprised in any way if they decide to do that. And the 6 knot speed rating that we got appears to be completely wrong. So these are going to go well astern of that target. Well, guess what? It turns out we have several torpedoes in our arsenal, and they've gone disused up to this point. So, hey, I'm again, I'm going to try to remain optimistic about this, because Jesus H. What a patrol it's been. Now, slight problem, we only have one, uh, god damn it, we only have one usable torpedo in the stern tubes. You can see there's all kinds of blinking going on, it's because I, uh, accidentally loaded the, uh, or raised the attack periscope. So let's rearrange them, and I've changed the speed already to... A hardy eight or seven knots and I don't know if we can actually take this thing out with guns so because of the weather it's this okay. 
He's just about square with us at this point. So... Let's give it another try. Alright. And I keep pushing the button for the attack scope. Alright. I don't think that the night scope works all that much better at night. It works a little better, but not not real noticeably better. So. And I did not change the detonator on that. That may be fortunate, though. It's kind of a coin flip. Sometimes if you switch it, that's actually what will fuck it up. But this looks like a good, solid solution if it doesn't go off prematurely or if it isn't a dud. I don't know why I always include that caveat, but I do. Because I know that one of those two is actually pretty likely to happen. And he sees it. But not in time. Got a pretty good hit there. A little bit ahead of where I would have liked it to have hit. He's in some rough seas, so I don't know how much it's going to affect his chances. Would have really preferred to hit right here, right in the middle. Or at least right by the stack. That might be... Well, no, the stack is just about dead center on this. Thank you for, for clearing that up. Well, he's ambling along still. And uh, that makes him a little bit tough to hit when he zigzags. So what I will do is start to shadow him. He's sailing away from the area now. He's definitely changed course. Get another look at him. He's off to 90 degrees now. I'm using the attack scope. Which may not be a great idea. He's not off to 90 degrees. <laughs> He's right in front of me. <laughs> Oh, goodness, these numbers, they mean things up at the top. I should pay attention to them. Apparently, I can't see him. Just troubling. Telling us to surface, that might not be a good idea. He is at 90 degrees. Maybe I just couldn't see him with that scope. I don't know. Boy, he appears to be dead in the water, though. A uh, couple things should have been done before surfacing the boat. Let's get some other folks in on this, because I'm just going to take the gun anyways. Bobson Jr. And who are you? Barack Obama. Sir Simon. You were involved earlier. How about remove sushi? I'm actually just telling my uh, automated sushi maker to remove the sushi from the hopper. Uh, you were already a part of this. Tamrin! Tamrin! <laughs> Not a spy bonsai and Zane Duncan. All right. Um. A little rough, not gonna lie. Yeah, in fact, you can see how the gun stopped there for a second. That's because the game was like, nope. You are an idiot for doing this. And, uh, now I thought he was at 90 degrees. Is he not? Yeah, there he is. He's off in the distance there. So, uh, let's go ahead and flank. Even though our fuel uh, situation is a little bit precarious, we can afford that, I think. And we will up it to... In fact, what we could do... Just zone, uh, zone him out with the... Uh, I was going to say zane him out. 
because of Zane Duncan. Hey Zane. Go Zane him out with the TBT and the PYT and the OMG. Uh, what am I doing? I guess I didn't have to redo that because it retains the mast height settings. But that's cool, that's fine. He's about 4100. That's good. Wee. Let's set up here a little lower. It was short, probably because of the wave action. You can see our gun is jostling a little bit. It's not a name, it's just a catchy way of saying jostling. We should call our gun Jocelyn. That's a nice upright name for a deck gun. What do you think? Where the f Where did he go? Did he just decide to sink or something? Okay. Tell you what. right there you you guys <laughs> you guys are the guys with the terrible accuracy give it another try welp straight to the moon <laughs> one of these days Kind of like what happens when the AI tries to shoot us. Now that was a little better. It's still... Yep. Now I think that was actually over. It looked under. just completely off. You guys need to not be terrible at this stuff. It's very important to me. <sighs> you guys. That was short. That was definitely short. Shut my mouth. Oh, for Pete's sake. Now, I'm starting to think we were overshooting. The graphic looks like it's splashing in front of the ship, though, so I don't know. There you go. Finally, that seemed to have some effect too. I'm pretty happy about that. He's trying to shine a light. The lights are on, but nobody's home. I think I made that joke earlier. It wasn't good that time either. All right, we've got a pretty good beat on him now. That was over, for sure. That was over like... Hacksaw Jim Duggan in 1988. Nobody appreciates my wrestling similes. Not even me. <laughs> I wish I'd sped him out a little bit better. Because I was, uh... 
felt pretty confident in that solution that we had for the first two that we launched, but... Oh, well. We'll get them one way or another. See, that was a good waterline hit right there. Try to hit him up front. Pretty close to the water line, also acceptable. And I think he's moving still. He still seems to be motivating. It's over. Starting to finally land some good hits though, so that's hey easy there, Tiger. What do you think this is? Yeah. Boo. Um Okay. Try to hit that gun, maybe. Now you might think to yourself, effing controller, what are you doing? But as you can see, that was actually a well-placed shot. Just was a little bit too low. Because the the shell will actually, it seems to carry your forward momentum. Uh-oh, he's on fire. So, for instance, right about now. See, you can see it's still straight on the reticle there. Getting some secondaries. That might have been the gun. Oh, wait, the gun did shoot. I thought the gun exploded. He is having a lot of problems. He's got some secondaries and tertiaries and quaternaries. And, indeed, some... Uh, something rhymes with dairies. I was trying to make a milk joke, but I milked the joke for all it was worth. Splendid. Kind of a tough attack because of the weather. Both in terms of the torpedo attack and the deck gunnery, but we took care of them. It's a handsome prize. It's about a 5,000 ton ship. Wasted two torpedoes, hit with one. I can deal with that, especially in light of the fact that we had had no contact whatsoever for multiple weeks. <laughs> kind of, you know, takes the wind out of your sails, as it were. Oh, such good news about tube 8 there. Thank you. We have another 5,000 tons in the bag. And uh, as of now, we are kind of skirting alongside truck, heading down south towards Rabal. Hopefully we'll run into some contacts here. But then we gotta, we gotta fuel up, because how much range you... There you go. Turn that down. Let's just see what our speed is. Well, see what our range is at this speed of 10 knots, because that's what we cruise at. Uh, duh. That's the one. So that's not correct. Uh, <laughs> if it were, we would be in a lot, a little bit of trouble. But what it is, we're, um, I think, yes, we're charging. So that'll go up to about 7,000 or so, I believe. All right. Handsomely done, I think. Did a pretty decent, uh, decent attack there. Get everybody back in their cubby holes and continue on with our patrol.